Since 1968, Mackey Motors has been the place to find new and certified used vehicles. Along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff, you, the customer, are their number one priority. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. And we are back here on the Mackey Motors post game show right here on Kick 106.7 from the Gatorade broadcast booth. And joining me right now is Carmen Pop of the Peyton Trudan Rockets. Carmen, thank you so much for joining me here uh, here tonight. Yeah. You know, I know this is a, a tough matchup here for you guys. You know, really good, strong foe in the Rolling Valley Conference. But, uh, you know, to be honest, you guys hung in tough, just like you did against Xyra. I mean, you guys were hanging in there in sets two and three. So talk to me from your perspective. What did you see from Glenn Ralston coming into tonight? Um, well, their serves, we, we were having a hard time getting them up and getting it over. And I think that was what was hurting us the most. So. You know, and, and the one thing I liked from you guys, I, if I'm thinking right, it was in set number two, you guys were really serving it well into the donut at that point. So talk to me about um, your perspective serving-wise. What were you kind of most comfortable with here tonight? Um, well, we have been serving a lot. We serve quite a bit in practice every day. And we play some games that help us with that. And um, we've just kind of been trying to visualize, like, getting it in that donut area and seeing where they're not, see if we can get it there. What was the one type of serve that worked well for you tonight? Was it that float serve or the top spin serve? Uh, probably float, I guess. Okay. I, yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> Uh, you know, this is a game, especially in sets two and three, really competitive from you guys. So talk to me from the difference from set one to sets two and three. What were the, what was the difference maker in those games? What, were, what was changed? Um, the first set, we had a hard time getting it up. We had quite a few of the, their first server um, had quite a few mm -hmm. on us, and that was our downfall, and we got better in the second and third match with that, but we still need to work on that. Yeah, right. And I know it's it's uh, it's tough because you're going up against people and teams who have a lot more games on you here this season. So uh, what has it kind of been like this, this season, knowing that your opponents do have a lot more games under their belts, tournaments and everything? Um, what's kind of been the, the game plan of each of the games, knowing you have that lo such long breaks between games? Yeah, uh, we just need to constantly hustle. And we know that most teams have more games on us and that is our downfall I feel and um, that's something we've always kind of had we usually have like a couple weeks where everybody has some games under their belt before we even have one but um, we just need to keep hustling and work at it sure keep focused all throughout the week and everything yeah uh, talk to me also right before we let you go uh, talk to me about your senior season I know this is a uh, it's crazy to think that you're already a senior. Uh, you know, my second year now of covering Peyton Sheridan. Talk to me about the experience so far. I know you'll have other sports you'll you'll participate in, um, but what's it been like so far leading a team um, as a senior? Um, it's fun. Uh, just we have quite a few other seniors on the team. I think there's six of us, and uh, that's something that's always fun. Just having a good group of senior girls that you get along with and just playing together and working together and having that friendship on and off the court. How has it been like kind of developing those uh, underclassmen to kind of lead in their own kind of ways? Um, we, yeah, we lost quite a few seniors last year and um, just getting all that varsity experience is something that is we're still doing and we're still learning. Sure, so. sure. No, that makes sense. Well, uh, Carmen Pop, I know it's uh, a disappointing loss, but we do wish you good luck against Woodbine coming up next week, and uh, we wish you good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you.